Four goals for Everton in their 4-2 win over Brighton. It's four wins from four as well. And for James Rodriguez, two goals on the day. And that's three goals overall, two assists as well. He's been nominated, Stevie, for Player of the Month already in the Premier League. He's taken to it like a duck to water, isn't he? Oh, my goodness, yeah. I mean, there was never any question that the guy had talent. Uh, the question was, could he produce it in the Premier League uh, consistently? And so far, he absolutely 100% has shown his ability and he's shown his consistency. So, listen, apart from his own individual performances, he is making everybody else around him better as well. I mean, that, that, that tells you what sort of a guy he is as well. And you see every time he scores, his teammates can't wait to, can't wait to get over and congratulate him. And, and, and the, again, you know, we keep talking about chemistry, but there seems to be a real good chemistry at Everton right now. And a lot of it is down to, to Hamas. And a lot of it has to be down to Carlo Ancelotti as well. I said Hamas was nominated for Player of the Month. He's nominated for Manager of the Month in the Premier League. And he really is getting the best out of this side right now, Stevie. Yeah, regardless of your know, tactics and, and all the other coaching stuff, you, you need to be able to handle players. Um, just on a personal basis. And when you do that and you can handle it, each one individually and, and, and find all the right buttons to press, when you can do that with a group, again, a group of talented players, then that, that in itself is a talent. And he deserves to be nominated as well because, yes, we can talk about the individuals on the field, but somebody has to mould them together and put all the pieces in the right place. And, and absolutely, that, that's what... Carlo Ancelotti's doing right now. You know, today was a good example of, okay, you bring in three players, uh, De Curry, Allen and Hamas, what's going to happen with the other players? You know, are they going to, are they going to just down tools? Are they going to accept it? Or what are they going to do? And today you saw Sigurdsson and Tom Davis starting in the middle of the park and absolutely ran their socks off, both of them. So clearly, again, Carlo's got everybody, not just the guys who, Probably are going to be the starting eleven in a big game, but the whole group together, and that that is a as I said, that's a talent in itself. He seems to have given Dominic Calvert Lewin a spring in his strength. I think that's six Premier League goals now. It's nine on the season so far. He set him a target at the beginning of the season and said he wants him to score twenty in the Premier League this season. At this rate, he looks like he might surpass that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I really. Every really touch is turns to gold right now. And, I, you know, the, the header he scored today was an absolute carbon copy of his mentor, Duncan Ferguson. I mean, a ball, a ball stood up at the back post for somebody with Calvert-Lewin's ability to attack. There's only going to be one winner, and that's how it, it was today. Beautiful header, great timing of the jump, huge leap. Um, I mean, he was head and shoulders above anybody. And he smashes it into the back of the net. Um, just a classic goal from a guy who, who you know what? If he can, if he can work on his finishing with his feet, he's going to be sensational. Because in the air, he absolutely is dominant. I think he can do a little bit more with his feet. And if he can get a little better and get that that touch a little better, this guy's going to score twenty easy peasy. Speaking of timing, it wasn't the best timing for Jordan Pickford to make an error like he did in this game, especially with those England games coming up, Stevie. You know, Pickford's, Pickford's the opposite of what I would say a goalkeeper should be. You know, I, I like a goalkeeper to be cool, calm, quiet, in the background and, you know, comes to the fore when needed. He's He's... He's a jumping jack. He's, he looks as though he's always on edge. I, I just don't see that as a good trait in a goalkeeper. Uh, and he is partial to making a, a huge blunder. And that's what this was today. This was about as easy a ball that he, he should be catching. And somehow he managed to fumble it, drop it, and it ends up in the back of the net. So, yeah, not good timing with the England uh, squad getting together. But I think Gary Southgate will stick with him. You know, he hasn't, he hasn't made mistakes with England. And I think that's the only thing that Gareth Southgate will be thinking about. That aside, though, it was another win for Everton. What do you think their ceiling is this season, if they can keep this up? Can they make the top four? Uh, I'm not ready for that yet. I think they'll be, they'll definitely be charging towards the top six. Um, 
you know, they look as good as Arsenal or, or Tottenham, who I think might be on the outs of the top four. Uh, so yeah, I think they're. I think they're right now. They're kicking that, and if they if they keep producing the way they are, um, you know, come halfway through the season, then we may have to start thinking about the top four. But I think right now, uh, they want to chase the top six to begin with, and then see how far they can go. Yeah, great start for Everton, and it's purely coincidence that Stevie Nichol is wearing a blue polo shirt today. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.